Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Deja Vu. Uh, today we are going to be making a delicious clover club. Now, if you haven't had a clover club before, I'll just talk you through it real quickly. So it's a gin-based cocktail with a egg white, raspberry liqueur, and some form of citrus, so lemon or lime. We're gonna be using lemon because it balances uh, well with the current gin we're gonna be using, but feel free to use lime if you've got lime at home as well. And then just a simple sugar syrup as well, which we've done before, so I'll get cameraman Will to place the link either on screen now or in the description box below, um, wherever he decides to put it. He likes to make me look silly sometimes, so it'll be somewhere. I think in the description box probably is best, isn't it? So yeah, down below. Really easy to make. Doesn't need a lot of ingredients again, <clears throat> but it will need a little bit of time if you are going to be making, well, I should say, you should be making your own sugar syrup. So a little bit of time in advance would be good if you are having a party or some friends over or just making cocktails for you and your partner. With the added of the egg white we're going to be using. We're just gonna literally get a standard egg and we're gonna crack it straight into the shaker. We're gonna do a dry shake. Have we done, we've done a dry shake video before, so with like a sours. Um, if you haven't watched that one, go check that one out. So any, um, when we did the Serrano sours, we're gonna be using egg white. So basically what an egg white will do is it will emulsify the cocktail. So the atoms inside the uh, sugar and the lemon from the citrus will react to it and it will emulsify the cocktail, which makes it go like really super frothy uh, and silky. It gives it a lovely, delicate, silky texture um, that just transforms cocktails. Anything with an egg white is super delicious. Um, really easy, we're literally gonna crack it in and go. For a gin, however, we're going to be using something a little bit different. We're not gonna be using a standard gin. We're gonna be using Brecken's rhubarb and cranberry gin. <clears throat> give it a little bit more flair. So we're not going to be using uh, a standard gin and we're not going to be using a raspberry liqueur. Instead, we've gone for this one, which is a rhubarb and cranberry gin, as I said before. So really tasty. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Um, really tasty, really floral, fruity, great summer cocktail. Yeah, delicious. For this one, we're going to be using a coupe glass. So serve straight up. We don't need any ice going in the glass. You just need to dry shake it without ice and then shake it with ice to make it nice, chilled and diluted. Perfect. Um, let's just jump straight in, shall we? So we're going to grab our jigger first um, and then we're gonna use, um, crack our egg first. So the reason we always do the egg white first is basically if you mess it up, you're not going to waste all of the booze or the other products that are inside of it. So always crack your egg first. And basically it's the same as cooking. So if you've ever separated an egg to an egg yolk before, it's the same, same way. So we're literally just going to transfer the egg yolk backwards and forwards between the shell and then get out all of the egg white like so. So super easy. If you are having trouble with that and you don't want to use a fresh egg, you can use a vegan alternative. So it's the same as what we did for the Sours video. You can buy a product called Miss Better's Bitters Miraculous Foma. You can get it from Master of Malt or the Whiskey Exchange. So check them out if you want a vegan alternative. It will create a very um, silky, frothy cocktail, just the same as uh, with an egg white, but it's vegan, obviously. So yeah, the egg white's in now. And then we're gonna go for the gin. That smells so good as well. I think this is the best part of like working in the bar and restaurant is just smelling and tasting all of the products. It's, it's so good. So we're gonna use a nice generous amount, 50 to 60 mil, depending on your glass size. I'm gonna go with 50, stay. Fresh lemon. So again, we've squeezed that fresh on the day. I've said it before in loads of videos, make sure you're using fresh citrus that you've squeezed on the day. You don't want to be using stuff that's been in the fridge for three or four days because you lose acidity inside of the liquid, which is not going to benefit your cocktails at all. So fresh citrus is key. We're going to be using around 30 mil for this one. Again, because I like cocktails slightly sharper, more citrusy than sweet, but if you prefer it the other way around, feel free to have an experiment, and see what you come up with. Um, but you can't go wrong with a 30 mil measure. And then we're also going to put in 20 mil of the simple syrup that we made earlier on as well. And then we're just gonna 
put the lid on and give it a dry shake. So as you can see, I haven't put any ice in at first. So a dry shake is literally just going to create a, a super frothy liquid at first. And then when we add the ice in after, just do our hard shake, which is with ice, um, it's going to dilute it, it's cool it, but also help emulsify the cocktail even more. So some people, you know, you can take off your strainer like so and put that in to help whisk the egg whites. However, I don't think you really need to. Um, I mean, you can do, we don't do it in the bar for obviously speed. Just put it on, give it a real hard shake for about 10 seconds. And then already, I don't know if you can see that if I pour that in, but it's already really, really silky. Did you get that? Just trying not to spill any of it. Super nice and frothy already, which is amazing. And then we're gonna chill and dilute it by adding our ice. So again, plonk it on. Real nice, hard, long shake. I need to get rid of this Boston shaker. This is the, the dodgy one. I don't know why I keep putting it in there. Go away. Um, we're gonna pour it straight into the glass now. We don't need to double strain it because it's not a, um, a because, it, because it's got the egg white on it, you're not gonna capture any of the little shards of ice that, for example, if you're serving like a Cosmo or a martini or something like that, you would have lots of ice residue on top of the glass. So we're literally just gonna pour it straight in. And you can see that color already, like it's so, so tasty. Nice, frothy, goodness. Perfect amount to go. And then for a garnish, nice and simple again, we're gonna get a lovely mint leaf. Just one nice little small one. And then we're literally just gonna pop that on the top like so. I don't know if you can see it on the camera because of the placement at the moment. Um, but it would just add a nice little bit of color, nice fragrant smell when you go to sip it. And also you can see it starts to notice that once it starts to settle, it will have this beautiful red color on the bottom when it starts to, starts to lift. And you can almost, we can see like the separation from the nice froth. So the egg white's totally safe to use in cocktails. Um, we've had many people ask us about using it. Um, we get all our eggs from reputable suppliers. Just make sure you get them, you know, you, you don't want to go to a farm or get them from your friends if they do have any chickens. You want them so they've got the proper lion stamp on them and you know you're getting them from certified people and that they haven't got anything um, potentially wrong with them. Um, the citrus that you're going to be putting in your cocktails, basically, I want to say it cooks. It cooks the egg white ever so slightly to help eliminate any um, impurities or nasties that would be in the egg white, making it safe to drink in cocktail form. However, again, as I said earlier on in the video, if you do have any issues or qualms or you're vegan and you don't want to have the egg white, opt for the Miss Better's Bitters uh, Mir Miraculous Foma, and it will do exactly the same job, but without the egg white. And look at that color. That's so good, it's such a pretty pink hue. It tastes delicious as well. Cheers. Mm. They're so good, it's so light and easy to drink. Reminds me of an ice cream actually. I can't think what the ice cream's called. Um, but yeah, that's our Clover Club, a little riff of it anyway. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please click on the subscribe button below. It helps us more than you can imagine. You click the, the bell icon as well when you're, when you're there as well to get notifications on, when we upload. We upload weekly. We try and do it on a Tuesday to give you kind of like an advance a little bit of time in advance to prep your ingredients or make um, any syrups that you need to do or buy any stuff. So yeah, I appreciate, appreciate every one of you. Cheers.